some magical memories all for free. Sabrina Silva has more on the fortunate feast. Hey, Sabrina. Good morning. Yes, this morning I'm at Oak Park Brewery. They don't open their doors until 11 o'clock, but we decided to break in. No, we got permission. We came out here because they're actually one of the local businesses that are making this fortunate feast possible with other local organizations. And Maddie and Jackie are joining me here this morning to talk a little bit more about that event that's happening this weekend. And they're going to be frying turkeys here at this business. But um, what are some things that we're going to get to see? At the Fortune Feast and uh, Fortunate Feast, and what does this mean to the community? I'll walk over that way because I don't want to put the mic on your face here, Jackie. <laughs> so, Maddie, tell us what, what's going on with that. So, on December 14th, we are going to be meeting at the Oak Park Community Center. Mm -hmm. uh, Boss and Skyflux are um, organizations that are giving back to the community, the Sacramento community, um, with help from local um, organizations like Oak Park Brewery. They are going to be smoking 15 turkeys that we got donated. Um, we have other small organizations that have also contributed to the feast as well, and a whole bunch of creatives that are also going to be coming out and volunteering for uh, volunteering during their time, excuse me. So that is the feast, feast. Jackie? Yeah. Yeah. And Jackie, here's my question for you, because we're taking a look right now um, at some of the feasts from years past. Um, I know that this was a big success, especially yeah. last year. A lot of people came through. Why is that so important to hold an event like this in the Sacramento region? I think there's a lot of people that don't have uh, the necessities that we take for granted. Um, this year we were very fortunate to be successful and we kind of wanted to give that back and put a little nostalgic touch to it. So mm -hmm. Christmas vibe, we have Santa coming out for the kids, they're going to get stockings, um, Christmas tree, I mean we're going to have a lot of people involved and I just think it's really important um, to make sure that you're constantly giving back um, to the community. Yeah, and um, my last question for you, Maddie, is that I asked you earlier if you guys were in need of volunteers, and yeah. that is something you said it's always necessary. Always, yeah. So how can people reach out to you mm -hmm. to take part in this, or if they want to make any other donations yeah. to help you guys yeah. out with this? Uh, Definitely. If you guys aren't able to make it to the Fortunate Feast, um, I volunteer for the nonprofit Explosion every third Saturdays of the month. Okay. Um, you can reach out to me, which my email is boss, uh, B A W. Sacramento at gmail.com and okay. I'll be able to send you all the details, websites on how you're able to register. Um, they're always looking for volunteers to come and help out. Yeah, so. and if they know anybody that needs help in the community and wants to go out yes, to the Fortune absolutely. Feast, can they do that? Absolutely. If you guys are looking or in search of a holiday experience, come out. Even if it's not the feast, they'll be able to help out in any way possible. So. Okay. Well, thank you ladies for joining thank me you. here this morning. My stomach is already rumbling because I'm thinking about all of the wonderful food that they're going to have there right? this week. Weekend, but if you want to help out, that's the place to be. Yes. Or get your grub on, meet some amazing people in our community. Back to you, ladies. Fantastic. Thanks, Sabrina. The fortunate.